Hey guys, this is Tom at VSC, and we got an awesome announcement for the L5P owners. Our 750 horsepower kits are now available. So I'm gonna talk about some of the components that went into making this truck make 750 horsepower on our Mustang Dyno. So the first component is the turbocharger. So this is our FTR assembled unit, um, but to get a higher power level than, than the 650 horsepower mark, which is what we can make on this guy, we had to upgrade this turbo with some key components on the inside. The first thing was going to a lot larger compressor. This is 64.5 millimeters on the inducer and then 92 millimeters on the exducer. This turbo is quite a bit larger on the compressor side than, than what's in the FTR. The second thing to reduce drive pressure across the motor, we went to a custom updated larger turbine assembly. This is a 10 blade uh, turbine that we had custom built for us and an in-house built modified vein cage. This vein cage and this turbine assembly allow us to keep this turbo around 44 to 45 PSI and drive pressure in the mid 60s to keep drive to boost pressure ratio intact. The second thing that's required is tuning. So in-house tuning, that's what's required to push these trucks a little bit further. And we went a few other steps. Um, these aren't necessarily required, but our up pipes so these guys allow the pressure on the inlet of the turbocharger to be a little lower and that's uh, drive pressure we find going right into the inlet of the turbo pedestal it's not too bad but the the factory and we'll make another video on this later but the factory up pipes are quite a bit smaller than these um, and then they tend to break right here at the bellows especially under the type of pressure and compression heat that this truck's going to deal with and then the intake horn, again, there's a huge point of contention on intake air horns. Do I need a larger one? Do I need something other than stock? The only reason that we're going to a larger intake air horn is to match the inducer, which is the front of this uh, compressor, to the inlet of the intake air horn. So this allows the, um, the turbo to take a perfect suction of air on the outside, match right to the volute of the compressor assembly. And it also helps control surge and a few other things. Again, you could probably run the stock intake air horn up to a point, but it will start to choke the truck out uh, around that 640, 650 horsepower mark. So updated intake air horn. And then SMB intake. So banks are pretty good. We happen to test this truck with an SMB on it. That's what we utilize. We, we test a lot of SMB products. Uh, they're pretty awesome. Look for our LM2 videos to come out with SMB on them. But SMB we found on the FTR turbo about 640 horsepower around the 500 grams per second of airflow, the factory intake uh, became a problem. That's when we went to the SMB intake. Obviously when we're at 750 horsepower or really anything much more than 640 horsepower, a higher flowing intake uh, is required. And we're gonna do a whole nother video on the breakdown, the technical components of the 64.5 as well as the FTR now that we have them both finished, but look for that video in the future. And then I'll just show you really quick on the dyno what we saw. Uh, these are uncorrected mass flow numbers here off of our dyno, but this is kind of a breakdown. So the, the, the factory turbocharger, the most we've ever really got out of a factory turbo factory intake, 583 horsepower, 1310 foot pounds of torque. I know there's probably numbers on the internet, 600 horsepower, realize these dynos are a, a tool to t for tuners to tune they really aren't anything more than that so this truck put down about 380 385 horsepower when it was brand new and completely stock so it's about a 200 horsepower gain and that is uh that's it for the factory turbo and factory components so again that's the factory turbo max and then our ftr turbo uh, we rated at 650 horsepower but that's about it that's with an smb intake installed and you see the torque picked up a pretty healthy number, a little over 100 foot-pounds of torque going to the FTR, which is means that the turbo really does respond well on the street. And then if we step up to the 64.5, this is the stage two, which is gonna be the permanent turbo in place now. Uh, we're pretty comfortably at, and again, there are tons of pulls on this truck, the 750 horsepower, 1,547 foot-pounds of torque, I don't know that we're going to keep the torque quite that high. We'll probably keep it 1,500, 1,450 to 1,500 um, down in the low ranges of engine RPM so we don't burn up any 10 speeds. Even though they're tuned, they really can't survive 
these super high torque numbers on factory clutch components. So again, it's a pretty solid horsepower pickup over the factory. We're pretty comfortable to release these uh, to the to the end user, and we're, we hope everybody enjoys them.